Hello everyone, this is Yours Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Trom Taotian Let's Play. We continue for episode 11 from turn 56 in the Harvest Season of 201. So last time we became Duchy, and we are also stuck in a fight against potentially Lu Bu. But I think we're going to take this fight in piecemeals because they're pretty healthy after the Delegate win. or well, we won, but our generals are pretty beat up. Our cavalry units, although very cool and definitely very strong with charging, is up against a ton of spear units. A ton, a ton of spear units. We're just not going to win that. So we're going to take on the garrison first, which we can use our range to kill, save our cavalry, and then we can use our cavalry against Lu Bu's army afterwards when they come attack us. Hopefully we can do this with almost no loss. That would be the best outcome. We'll see if we can pull that off. Yeah, fighting in this corner is totally fine. We're gonna knock down those towers first. If they do start charging out, I guess we'll save some spot here. We don't have a front line either for this army, which is why I a little hesitant to take on the fight with both parties together. They have range, but only four shots each, so can't count on them for damage. A little bit of harassment, pretty much. Invisible unit. I could put these guys on the other side, actually. They can sneak in because they are invisible. And then we can just keep this group here. As our front line. She can have her bow and shoot at whoever wants to get close. But mostly, we're going to be pounding this side. And they're going to go in. Capture this. They're charging out. Oh, okay. Never mind. Switch targets. It probably have an oil puddle in the front. If we can light that up here... A lot of them are going to die. So now by having these units over here, once they do get inside the settlements, can we please light up the fire? Now we're hitting the tower. I mean, I imagine once the capture starts, they will start going back. Just from my understanding of AI behavior. Alright, we're gonna switch target real quick. Yeah, we got that lit up. Two of them inside, two of them up here. All right, before they make contact. Yeah, our cavalry is no good against them. But they are good against enemy archers, so if we see an opening here, I'm gonna send them out first. It's a little bit easier to get them through. Second bomb. Got squeezed by. We might hit some of that. Ah, they threw them high up enough. I forgot to micro these. Here 
Okay, we're fine. Oh, no, we're not going in there. Can we win already? Who's not routed? This guy. Capture this. All right. Not clean, but not too bad. These guys having a couple to sneak in, but the front line's really lacking. I'm not going to change the army up right now. It's too difficult to change it right now. Alright, we're back just because of supply issues. We still have supply issues. If we go back here, we'll be fine. And I think... Since we're not attacking them here... We definitely can pull back a bit. And look to attack over here instead and help them out. Oh. Looters have a piece. Han Sui has a piece. Twenty-three. The prices are reasonable. It's definitely something we can make work. Let's try it. We can do food. He's lacking food for sure. Oh, I lied. It says very poor, but he has more than ten. I guess is relative to us. Not a good weapon. Not a good armor. And then cash, basically, the rest of the way. Yeah, it's doable. We just need to save up some money. Alright, over here, we have to take both of them down one by one as well. Lord Jun's group first. They have a siege weapon. Actually, if we drag the siege weapon army as reinforcement onto the field, it's going to be a bloody fight because we'll run out of ammo by that time. Yeah, it just makes more sense to fight this separately. He's also a burn officer, so we don't have as much ammo as we would. If we take him out, then we would have more ammo for the second fight as well. We can have a look at our Yue units. Shanyue warriors. Do they have stock? They don't. Oh, they might lose control and charge forward. Okay, that's fine. We will have our explosive rounds. They don't have cavalry. Hmm. 
Mm, he has a better weapon. Maybe we don't fight him. Let's see how explosive shots look. Uh, we're not targeting the right places, though. Basically, cluster shots. Create a bit more of a gap so we can sort of throw grenades into these pockets here. Not getting that many kills. I don't think the damage is as good as the... There's like more, more splash maybe? That's a lucky shot. This way to avoid him. But we got the charge in. Azor dragons. Now we're racking up the kills. Alright, kind of stop them in their tracks. I don't think we need to throw anything here. Yeah, they engage early. It's kind of how they are. He's low enough. Oh, 
军四散而逃，到底是无胆鼠辈。Right, we're looking for the enemy general. We don't want to fight the enemy spear. Stay put. Ooh, friendly fire. Stop. They're done. Cavalry, hunt down the generals. All right, army loss kicked in. All right, that was pretty clean. And the Shangri-La warriors are pretty good. Very high damage against infantry, of course. Uh, we'll release him. I'm gonna drag them in. Now this army's problem is they don't have any spear units, so our cavalry can kind of flank pretty early if we want to. Okay, so since reinforcements from over there, we're gonna try to favor this side a little bit. They might be over there. Yep. They're going to try to group. They also have a siege weapon, so they're not super incentivized to come towards us. And our job is to somehow change that, which might be difficult. I think our generals and our cavalry is going to have to do a lot to kind of harass their position. They also have a tower. Okay. You know, they might have... There might be some winnable fights, but let's see if we can capture this and they might have an oil puddle somewhere in here. Ooh. Siege weapon shooting at us. 
Ah, uh, we, we found the oil puddle. They're a little far from it. Take a fight. We're not exactly... Uh, let's micro this side first. We should be able to just charge through everything. And destroy these. We're in the forest. It's probably the best anti-range defense we can get. We just want to destroy these. Now we gotta fight our way out of this, which might just be through all the archers. Follow us. Did he get back on his horse? No. Can we charge through this guy? Where's your horse? No, oh, it's kind of far. Charge through, charge through. Alright, I think I got the cavalry out. Can't touch her. I mean, at this point, the cavalry is pretty dead. I can't get them cleanly out, but we can buy some time for them to move. Getting knocked down. Can we just get a hit? There we go. Did she dodge that? One more hit. One more hit. There we go. And our horse is now available. Let's see if we can get there. They lit that fire. Maybe we can run using the cover of the forest. Uh, yeah, you can chase some crossbow units. Just using that for... Oh, getting routed. Yeah, that's fine. Did we get back? Uh, still not mounted yet. Peel them off. We'll take any survivors at this point. They're back. Oh no. Okay, 
Okay, the siege weapon's doing good. He has a better weapon than us. Alright, we did our job. Let's go help Guojia out a little bit. Positioning. We should be fine. They're going to try to group up first, and that's going to give us a lot of time to pound them. They have nice shots left, so... Plenty of time to return the favor. 77 health. I mean, we're rank 6. Accuracy is still to be desired. We're retired. We're not going to fight this one. Oh, we're out of shots. Okay. Four hundred kills. They did well. Do 
手听命，注意。I don't think we'll win that. He's hard to take down. Even with us dismounted. I don't think we need to throw a lot of these, but maybe a wave here. Where they collide into a unit. Alright, we got them. Nice. All right, beat them down. Took a little while. They had to gather up their reinforcement. Our cavalry is wrecked, but um, the army's pretty much intact. Da Yi Jiangling, Mo Gan Bu Cong. Let them go back home. It would be nice if we can get the capture rate bonus and then have a better time catching some of these generals. I could either retreat back, but after getting that replenishment, I think we're fine. Not super interested in settlement, and I really want to wipe out Yanshu's faction. We're gonna come down here. Defend this from them. We can actually step outside. I don't want to be stuck inside and get sieged. We are in a supply pickle, so we're just going to stay here and get supplies. Can't do much with this army. They have supply issues too, and we also have options. I mean, if we're going to buy a territory, this would be the one we want to buy first. 27. Yeah, I don't think I have enough to buy that. We did get Liu Bei to flip one of his administrators decided to flip to us without us making him a spy, which is a little bit funny. We get his... Oh, this is great. Because we have that, I kind of want to keep this. Plus eight public water. I don't think that's going to be a big issue. We're going to downgrade this down to just four building slots. This is going to convert to a coin maker. I don't want one of these and regional city. So I'm going to rush one of these. This one, we only lose, it's half price. We only lose half of that price. Let's do this. Yeah, and we're fine. The rest of this can stay. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, 
I don't know if they will siege us. All right, we want the administrator of Badon, but we probably want to do a discredit faction. We don't have enough points. I have no idea what we're gonna do with his court. It's like at this point, we're hoping he gets a bit more land. Yeah, we can't force anything. Tempted to recruit just one of them so that we have enough points to do an action because we have two slots. None of them are significant generals though. She's the easiest one to flip. Ah, uh, but she doesn't want to flip. Okay. I'm going to recruit her just because she's the highest level of the three. Uh, let's use you. Throw some points. Let us discredit faction. We'll target it from Jianyong. And then we'll do another one. This might lead to a lot of people leaving his faction. Biltron can join in. She's heir, isn't she? Yep. She has zero points. So she's most likely leaving. Like a military revolt. She's in Don't Light. She's right here. Decent items. She's coming back to us, but who's going to be heir next, right? That's kind of what we're curious about. I mean, before she. I think we can cause a civil war. I'm actually pretty sure we can cause a civil war. I think I disown her to pick up an empty slot. And then we remain on the lookout to see who we can grab. And we're going to do some discredit faction. Ooh, no one knew. Joined. I feel like at this point we give up on... No, we don't have to give up anyone. We can grab a new one. 65 points still. Hit them with another round. Then we target just one. We can make Zhang Fei leave. Let's make Guan Yu leave. And then we disown him. Guan Yu's at zero points. If he's willing to flip, this is now or never. Guan Yu, Zhang Fei both willing to flip. 2,000. We need money. Domin Liu Chong. 
uh, where can we get food, uh, money, cash, some sort of cash. Oh, it'd be hilarious if the Obey pays us. We already have a food deal with him. All right, I'm going to sell him some items. And he's going to pay me to steal his two Oathworm brothers. Need about 5,000. Oh, maybe we'll steal a few more characters, given that he's so generous right now. So first, we're going to grab Zhang Fei. We're going to kick her out. Well, she's heir. I'm going to kick Zhang Meng out. She has items. That's why I want her to come back to me. We'll take Guan Yu as well. And then we have points again. Which means I can wreck the faction so that everyone's close to zero. Shen Pei is a three. We actually might need a few more spy slots. Um, I can't recall them instantly. I can only disown, right? Ma Dai. I, I, I don't really want to disown anyone. Well, no one's going to leave. I, I can hit this. I'm going to make him leave. I just can't grab him. Let's leave him in a really bad state then. Anyone not zero? Now you're zero. Oh, he's at two. Let's drop him again. We'll make someone else drop the 10. She's not zero because she's administrator. We literally dropped everyone to zero. Oh, someone's a four? Well, if we get her to drop everyone by 10, and then we target her to drop her to zero. Uh, is it max 100? That might be the reason why, because it should be a minus 30 event. But everyone else is zero. Uh, I mean, honestly, I should dump his faction right now. I think I I should use up all the points and then just get rid of them. There's no good items on them. They have no good abilities. Doesn't compare to who we might pick up from Liu Bei. Yeah, so let's be a little decisive here. We'll just have a really good relationship. And then we will use up the last bit of points, then disown. Even though she's heir, doesn't really give us anything special. I can flip his army. Do I want, I mean, I know his group. They're right outside the capital. I don't really want them. I can kill. That's that's fine too, actually. That way we don't lose out on having the air. And I can keep a slot open to see if I can get Huang Huang Zhong. That's the that's the main catch. Everyone else we don't need. So we're good. Everyone's happy. We just basically have her use up all her points and then killed her. We still control every family member because she just died. And we now have three of the five tiger generals. Shenpei unfortunately doesn't want to come, but everyone's going to leave. It's going to fracture to a civil war. We get Wei Yan as well. 
Dayong wasn't willing to flip. Liu Bei's like, everyone's so happy in my in my duchy. He paid us 7k. That was the right amount. Alright. Maybe a couple of his administrators will want to volunteer and join us again. They killed her. One of them's gonna get good. Oh! Madai has extra value now. Okay. This might be still a small problem. But we should be fine. Let's build some stuff and continue. Point two k that should be empty. I don't see if anywhere have empty slots that we need to fill. Like here. And here, but we're poor now, so can't even convert this. All right, we end. Let's see what happens to Liu Bei's uh, beautiful duchy. He goes all the way down here. This is what happens when ooh, Shu Han separatists, duchy of Shu Han. They picked up the Shu Han title. I mean, I guess they were duchy already. So the Western and Eastern factions split. But the color, right, the green is the old one. So the Western, like Badong, still went the Separatists. But Liu Bei kept pieces of Shangyong and Changsha. A little piece of Jiangxia, or like Nan over there. And a little piece of... I think that's Chen. Guan Yu is the one who did the splitting. I mean, he's family, that's why he did the splitting. Thank you, Emperor. Thank you. All right, so Guan Yu has Jian Yong and everyone. He, she's coming back. Zhang Fei stayed with Liu Bei. Huang Zhong stayed with Liu Bei. Wei Yan stayed with Liu Bei. Administrator of Nan, which is their capital. Shang Yong, he's the one we want to flip. Who became heir? Ma Tie became heir. Ma Dai is still a general. Ma Dai has a good item. I, I might just get him back, but... I guess we can keep the family going for a little bit. Now the separatist government, do you guys have administrators? Not yet. I think they have to mess with their court. Let's have a talk. Invite him in. <laughs> Only 5.4. Uh, let's see. He starts out not as a new faction of sorts. So there's no items on him. How much of the money did he split? Looks like half. Looks like they split halves. Or maybe whatever they made from the buildings for a turn. I don't know how much they would start. Let's see if they have the exact same amount. They don't. So it's not half. It's Well, that's one competitor down. That army disappeared. The one that we showed up to defend could be an ambush. I would risk it. We can ambush and see if they come back. It's likely. Oh. Yuanshu's forces. I can't move. I gotta get my supply back. They don't have siege weapons, so we should be okay, but they could even come over here. Guess we do welcome them. Oh, Nanyang. They have a piece of Nanyang. Do we take his capital? I mean, the capital is gonna be ours anyways. Let's take the easy target first. Yeah, 
，尚参于天。只有稳固发展，人们才会交口称赞。We don't have the required entrepreneur, which is why it's not producing as much as it should. I'm gonna keep it. We'll fix that later. I want to destroy Yuan Shu's faction first. I'm gonna probably take the settlement and then negotiate peace. They have a big stack over here. That way, we don't have to be the one wiping them. They can probably revive themselves somewhere with that decent stack. Now, Liu Bu's army is trying to flee. Oh, they got into the water. Then we can't reach them. Okay, we. This is going to be a long, distant journey. No one's guarding this. Given how Liu Bei fractured. I kind of want to make a move against the Emperor now. I can take over the Han, even if Sun Tzu becomes a problem. I guess we have to wait till we swallow up everything here. This army not being able to move because of supplies is a big issue. Because I can't really set up a new government, a new army with. The amount of money we have. Uh, she's coming back. I don't really care that she's coming back. I I'm gonna leave the spies alone for a turn. We'll take a look, see if we can grab Shang Yong from his spy next turn. Who well, he wants to vassalize us? All right, we'll use the money on buildings. I'm going to queue that up, and then we're going to downgrade this. Uh, this is all the way out west, so I'm not sure if we need that adjacency. There's not going to be a, a lot of adjacent commanderies there. At least not right now. Alright, I think that's a quick turn. Do we make a move, basically? I think we do. Oh, finally, Genshaw's forces. We don't have any armies too close. They are sieging Jiangxia. It's fine. <laughs> They're playing run around the circle with us around this forest here.
Oh, Yen Ro. Does he have a normatic tree here or very generic? Okay, it's all Guan Yu's characters. Did any of them become administrators? No. Okay, Liu Bei's core stabilized? Not really. He's 11, but he's not willing to flip. What happened to the other administrator? Huh. Maybe we just extract at this point if they're not willing to flip towards us anymore. Oh, he showed... he returned. Alright, so we're going to use this as our save. We'll come back and rescue the Emperor next time. They disappeared, I assume. Keep our supplies healthy. It's winter, we can't really move too crazy. What we could do with how annoying Liu Chong has been... This is a free take. Is that we can maybe peace out with him. So if I turn around and take this, and as part of the peace deal, I'm going to ask for the farmland that's left in Runan, or the mine that's left in Runan, which he will gladly pay. He will be left with Hulao Gate Pass and that's it. And then we don't have to worry about this army roaming in between. And this should probably just be a delegate fight and we get closer to Yuan Shao's forces. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna have to fight this, obviously. Um, I think that's the plan. We win here cleanly. We deal with this afterwards. We peace out with them, ask them for this mine, and then the war with them is over. Cao Cao's army swing back, breaks the siege here, sits in Jiangxia so that he has supplies, and then we take out Huang Zhu. This force defends Ma Chao and Cao Cao pushes up. We wipe out Yuan Shu. One army goes west towards the pass and the trade port. One army goes here. And then we have to summon a force. I mean, do they still want to go to war with us? 27, a little pricey. So we'll probably lose this. We need to create a new force here with 12k. We can definitely do that. And then we gotta fend off their attacks for a while. Liodai gets destroyed, Loyang gets recaptured, Emperor's ours. They will just sweep through the north. It's not a very good army, so giving them an easier job is probably better. Um, I think the spying with Lobe is done. We pull the characters. Ha, Liu Bei, are they going to fight? They're not at war. <laughs> They're not at war with Guan Yu. They're pretty happy with the split. Still brothers. We'll think about it. We'll think about how to deal with the, uh, the spies. We, we do want some of the characters, like... Shenpei would be nice, but he was at zero point and he still didn't want to leave. It's a little awkward. But we still have a few fights to clean up once we get all of this done. I mean, Liu Bei also has a piece of territory here. Maybe we can trade it? Maybe it's something we can just buy it from him at a certain point. His capital is going to be close to us. He's either here or Shangyong. That's the only settlement he has left. Although I doubt he can become emperor at this point. He lost half of his land, so I don't know how the prestige cal uh, calculation is going to go. Sun Tzu is the big problem. Eventually our armies have to swing south. Still 150 point-ish away, so still some time. We'll grab the Emperor first, 
And if someone's still, like, there's a lot of factions that's still fighting the High Empire. That's what I'm worried about. I have to negotiate peace against Sun Tzu. Also us, but, you know, we're, we're about to confederate them. That's our, so it's only Sun Tzu. So if Sun Tzu flips on us, we just have to deal with that. That's the only big deal. And we don't have any armies down south, so that might be a problem. But we'll deal with that when that time comes. So hopefully you guys enjoy this episode. See you all next time. Bye.